Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video, we're going to take a quick look at Signage Mod 10.1, a uh, somewhat overview. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, it's been a while since I've done a CM10 or CM10.1 review, so I thought I'd do uh, I thought I'd do one. Uh, Sound Engine Mod, as you know, is a custom ROM that you can install on many devices uh, as long as you're rooted and uh, have super user permissions. So it's based off of this version is based off of Android 4.2.2, and it includes uh, some customization for your device, and also now includes a uh, super user. As you can see here. You don't really need to download uh, a third-party super user application anymore uh, as long as you're uh, downloading or you're installing a uh, Signage Mod based ROM, whether it be Signage Mod itself or another ROM that uses Signage Mod. So in the settings, we have the interface, we have launcher. If we open up home screen, we can choose the grid size, uh, how many rows and columns there are, uh, the number of home screens, which one is the default screen. So if you want to have the first one all the way to the left, uh, the default screen, sort of like a, a a la iPhone type of thing, uh, you can go ahead and do that. You can uh, expand the home screens to fill the size, uh, which would mean, I believe, the notification bar goes away. Uh, you can have or disable the search bar. Uh, hide the icon labels if you'd like. Um, you can have also a, some sort of transition effect. So we'll do rotate down, I guess. Scroll the wallpaper, um, wallpaper quick render, render, wallpaper size, how many uh, screens wide the wallpaper should be, I guess. Uh, fade side screen, show outlines, and then just some bottom stuff down there. So, so if we go home, you can see the new transition. Let me put a widget. Okay, so we'll put a calculator widget, and now you can see it has a uh, transition. So that's kind of nice if you like to have that type of customization. And since I checked the no icon uh, labels, you don't have icon labels. Go back into Launcher, we'll take out, check out the drawer. You can uh, choose which way the drawer opens, whether it scrolls uh, or scrolling, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Uh, you can hide apps, so there may be apps that you don't want to install, but you also don't want to see them all the time. So we can go ahead and check DSP Manager there. Um, we can join with apps, so if you want to have infinite scrolling, like on the Samsung TouchWiz UI, you can do that, or if you want to make it to where you scroll straight over to um, to your widgets, you can do that as well. You can have a transition effect when scrolling. Uh, it already comes with one, which is stack or the stock one. Uh, let's say zoom out. You can fade the side pages and then you get some other stuff right there. You'll see we scroll up and down now and no longer left to right. And it also has a, uh, it does have an animation, although it's kind of hard to tell because uh, the way that it's, the way that, you know, you scroll. Then you go to widgets. And here are your widgets, which you also scroll up and down for. So if you like the up and down type of um, scrolling rather than left to right, this is here for you on Sign Engine Mod 10.1. Go back to the launcher and go to the dock. Go to pages. You can choose how many pages you have. Choose the default, um, the icons, and the scale of the icons, and show dock divider. So that's just for the dock. Um, general, we can auto rotate the whole screen and put it into full screen mode, which will hide the status bar. Uh, to extend the home screen, make it bigger. If we go into lock screen, of course, we have uh, our lock screen stuff. It seems like we have a lot more. We have screen security, which I believe has been there before, and we have a, a custom wallpaper. You can choose to have a different wallpaper on your home on your lock screen than you do on your home screen. Battery status, uh, status. You have your clock widget. You can choose to have the max the widgets always maximized, which in my opinion, I kind of like that. Uh, I wish stock um, Android actually lets you choose whether you always have them maximized or minimized um, slider shortcuts and then button actions. So if we go to the lock screen, you can see the messaging widget is full. Uh, when you wake the device, it's going to stay full. In my opinion, I kind of like that, um, but that's just me, maybe. Uh, you also have your themes, of course. Signage monitors always have the themes. Uh, system, you can do a lot of stuff with the system, and uh, at the risk of this video getting too long. I'm going to uh, try to go over some of these, not all of them. You can have the AM PM style up here in the uh, top right corner. Oops. Brightness control by sliding your finger, so long as it's not on automatic, I believe. Um, you can do that. Try and put that a little bit brighter. Um, 
You can show the notification count over here. So if you have some notifications, you can have it show you how many. Then the icon style and the battery percentage. Uh, quick settings, you can choose which quick settings are available when you pull down. And uh, you can also customize their placement. Power menu, uh, pretty straightforward. You can enable or disable certain things when you close or when you long press the power button if I want to enable the screenshot. You can long press and now screenshot is there and take it off and as you saw earlier it's not there anymore. The clock widget uh, is now broken into uh, it's sort of its own little category right here. Uh, I don't know if this was here before but it is now. You can choose all sorts of customization for the um, for the clock. So if I want to have a black and uh, let's do blue. You can have your calendar events as well as a weather panel here. So if we go back to the lock screen, you can see here is that widget. And uh, I don't know if I actually applied the blue. Um, I know that when you're putting it down for the first time, it asks you, you know, what color you want. And I don't think I actually selected that. But nonetheless, you can uh, sort of customize it from here. Then you have your hardware key, uh, your hardware key options. You can enable custom actions. So if you want to make the menu button, the multitasking button, as I've had before in previous videos, uh, you can do that and um, you can have show action cover flow so uh, over, overflow so that it will uh, show the three dots if you uh, want to do that as well. It's pretty much it for the interface and everything else is uh, pretty much the same as stock Android. You might have a, a little bit more uh, options in the sound as well as uh, the display such as rotation and a volume rocker to wake the device just in case maybe your power button is broke um, or anything like that. Then you have advanced. Now in advance, deep idle is something I've uh, continued to try to look at and uh, it's just, it's not available. Backlight dimming, uh, that's what you can see here is what I have. So uh, I, that might help battery life a little bit. I'm not sure how much though. Uh, here is to do the uh, color hack presets and other things like that. I always have it at the one you just saw me switch it to. You have profiles, uh, your accounts, things like that, and then super user, which I told you about, and performance. So this is also another good thing. If you don't really need to have profile set up, which um, set CPU allows you to do, you can come in here and uh, boost the maximum CPU frequency. So if you want to put it at 1.2 gigahertz, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Although I don't know if they've actually fixed it, but it does, um, I've experienced lag, uh, not lag, I'm sorry, uh, crashes and render reboots at 1.2 and 1.4 gigahertz. And then you can choose to set that on boot. So every time you, you start up, it'll remember what you wanted your frequencies to be. So that was a somewhat quick, uh, hopefully quick overview of Synergy Mod 10.1 uh, on the Nexus S. This is the GSM version. I know it might hard, be hard to tell, but this is the uh, GSM version. I hope you enjoyed. If you did or it helped, don't forget to give a like. Subscribe down there. I'll be having more coverage. Uh, just FYI, this isn't my daily device, so that's why I wasn't able to mention battery life. I don't want to give you guys uh, a wrong estimate of how well the battery held up for me. So that's why I don't really mention battery life in these uh, ROM reviews. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my giveaway at 500 subs. And uh, I'll catch you next